Hey, it's Joe and welcome to the best transformation top tips. Today, the top tips that I want to talk about is how to stop binge eating. Because binge eating is a right pain in the ass. It really is. You know, you're, you're going around your business, you're having a really nice day, and suddenly you get this urge that like drags you into like a fast food place or a donut shop or a biscuits or whatever it is. So the very first tip that I want to give you is make sure you've eaten enough high carb, low fat food. In my experience, what I've found that if I eat enough food, even if I don't feel like eating it, when the urge to binge comes, it'll be more like a suggestion. Hey, do you want to come and have some of this? No thanks, mate. I'm all right. You see? Otherwise, what happens is you get that voice, hey, come on, it tastes really good. And you're like, oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, okay, I'll go, I'll go. So what happens is you end up being misled by a very weak force, actually, that's been given all the power because you're so hungry. You're not nutritionally satisfied. If you've got a thousand calories of fruit in you, or a thousand calories of a high carb, low fat cooked meal, a craving is more like a suggestion. So that will probably eliminate about 90% of the problem right there. Some people say there's no such thing as emotional eating. And I like to hear that message because I, I, I largely agree. Again, when you're eating the right food, 90% of the emotions surrounding eating the wrong food disappear because they're caused by the food. An example, you'll never see a person in a tribe, in a jungle, going like this. Oh, I really feel depressed because uh, I haven't got uh, a sharp enough axe. I know, I wish there was a really high fatty food I could eat. Maybe a piece of meat between two pieces of bread with some fries. Mmm, that sounds like that would fix my problem. Of course you'd never see that. Where would you ever see that? It's ridiculous. You have to be exposed to the food in order for you to crave it. You don't randomly crave hamburgers and fries. You don't randomly crave biscuits and chocolate. You have to be exposed to them. So the problem is in the food, regardless of what your therapist says. I think this has got something to do with your childhood, possibly. If that were the case, why doesn't everybody binge, right? There's a study that was done of these monkeys in St. Barrett's, and these monkeys steal alcoholic drinks from the bars. And they basically shown that the exact same percentage of alcoholics, teetotalers, and abstainers that you have in a human society, they found in the monkey society. And none of those monkeys are, are one walking around thinking they had tough childhoods. Anyway, so emotional eating as such is debunked. But what happens is you do become dependent on the food to cover emotions because you are behaving like um, you've discovered this tool that takes away these feelings. So, and, and you link them. You start to binge eat so much that you binge eat when you're sad. It does make you feel better because you do get a serotonin boost and you start to link it. But that's not the same as there being a, a root core emotional cause. You've just learned to uh, patter down the, the ups and downs of life using a very strong stimulative substance. That's all it is. And once you understand that, it's a lot easier to, to, to not go there because you realize it's not you. I don't even know what fucking tip this is and I don't even care. I'm just gonna carry on. So the next tip is, well that tip is, oh fucking hell, that tip is eat enough. That's what it was, wasn't it? That was still tip one. I'm such a newbie. I'm too sexy for you not to share this video. Huh? Huh? Hmm?